Um, so we hinted to this question at the end of last uh, week's show because we wanted to get more information about it because it's not in our forte. So it says, got a question for the NHS. What are your views on men who pay for sex? I attended a talk at TWT... Uh, the World Transforms. The World Transforms. The Labour Party uh, shadow festival uh, that happens next to, next to the conference okay. every year. So I attended a talk at TWT last year on sex work and the panel argued that the most appropriate leftist view on sex work is that it should be treated like all other work and that sex workers should be entitled to respect workers' rights and good working conditions. What wasn't really discussed was how John's so like clients, should be viewed in this dynamic. I have paid for sexual services, been to strip clubs, paid escorts, etc. before uh, before I was p- politically educated, and now I'm not sure how I feel about it. One of the panellists said she needed her clients' money and appreciated being treated well by them, but at the same time, in an ideal world, wished she'd had another means to earn the kind of money that she did via sex work. I appreciate it's a thorny issue. Thanks for doing this. Yes, yeah, so as you can imagine, we, uh, well, you may not imagine, I don't know, basically we are, we are not uh, involved in, 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 in sex work in a, in a practical manner, so uh-huh. what we decided is that we should not only just do some research, but actually talk to people that are, and perhaps, you know, if, if they could uh, very generously let, let us know what their opinions on this is. Yeah. Again, there's a spectrum of opinions, we've asked certain people, but we didn't ask others, and perhaps they would have other, another uh, idea. Again, we were extremely thankful that they even gave us their emotional labor mm-hmm. and, in general, labor, as, you know, answering us questions. Yes. yes. And so, the sort of general feedback that we received, or sh- should I start? Yeah. Might as well. Uh, first of all, it's great that you even went to the three that we do. TWT panel, it seems like you are a conscious consumer as it is, you know, so that you are interested in these discussions. Again, as many as there are sex workers, there are different views as to how this should be tackled. And also there, there's different law in different countries as well. So, for instance, uh, the, I, I, I think that the general consensus with the, with the sex workers that we've discussed here in Britain is that they don't necessarily agree with the Nordic model in the in 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 the Scandinavia, no. where uh, actually it is the it is the the, 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 the consumer, the client that, that and they are the ones getting criminalized. Um, but actually, as a as a result, this becomes the, the profession itself becomes way way more difficult for, for and unsafe. Themselves. And unsafe as well. Uh, I, yeah, I, I know that this this is like as a, as a it is being used as an excuse to to battle trafficking. However, op, uh, we will post all of the links below yeah. because we've done also a lot of research and we just have quite a few resources now. Open Democracy have this really wonderful, great sort of uh, um, dissection of the Nordic model and how that's not the way to go. So basically, I don't think you should be worried about that necessarily. And it seems like the consensus, at least here in Britain, is that yeah, decriminalization is the is what sex workers are fighting for and if you want to help sex workers in a in, in a sense which isn't just in your relationship as a client there are plenty of sex work organizations in the uk that we will put model uh links to that are fighting for decriminalization and have advice on how you can help from monetary to turning up at rallies and things um yeah can i, I i'll give just a few shout outs just in okay, case yeah. you know um so it's uh well sorry next page so we have uh swarm then English collector of prostitutes, sex workers opera do lots of cool stuff. Yes, as they're well. very cool. Um, yeah, so um, I mean, I don't know how much conversation there are between these groups as well, but um, also United Voices of the World, uh, one of the really great sm- smaller dynamic trade unions, are looking into unionizing this industry, mm-hmm. which is extremely fascinating. So yeah, so I think we can quite. I guess we can say, get, don't be ashamed talking about these things. Yeah. Um, can I please, please, please? Okay. So regarding the role of the client, the general consensus among the people we've spoken to who are in these politically engaged sex work organisations or are independent politically engaged sex workers is that it's not really about you, and that might sound kind of harsh, but essentially, respect, politeness, like paying on time. Like, if you are looking at it from a customer service position or like any workers analysis the analysis is never about the customer like as a customer your duty is to be courteous and what we actually care about what our energies go into is organizing workers and workers organizing themselves and so like yes you're, you're saying there aren't things out there for johns maybe because they're 
don't need to be in that sense. I think like, in the future there will be. I think this is such a such a like new raw and new sort of well, it's not a new profession, but we're looking at it with the technologies that we're being given right now in a lot more in a more in a more nuanced. Yeah, the new, new analysis yes. definitely in the last few years yeah. around like sex work as as work as labor. This is a very new field. And websites as well, you yeah. know, they're only getting filled with re- resources now. That I think in a couple of years will probably be there, yeah. you know. And because yeah, again, it's uh, hopefully this will become a mo- much more legalized industry across the world. So all those resources will just appear. Whereas now, you know, for understandable reasons, it's just a lot of the time illegal as well yeah. to even have those around. So I would say, like from what we've heard. Like, if you're worried about your position as a client, don't be. Like, it is fine to be a sex work cli- uh, like client or customer as long as you're like you pay on time, you're respectful, you're courteous, you, you respect boundaries, you don't contact people after work, you know. Which is, I go, I go to the Lush store and someone's friend beats me and I'm like, I'm in love with you. So yeah. <laughs> But like basically, yeah, I guess respectful post boundaries. There's a really great article as well about cam girls, and mm-hmm. um, that we're also gonna post uh, below that actually do explain how they would like to be treated from yes. the consumer's perspective. But generally, if you care about sex workers' rights as well as being a client, then give your money and your labor to sex work organizations and take a back seat in their struggles. Like. A lot of the ones said that they, they value support and how to support sex workers, but they don't necessarily, they do, right now, they can't necessarily put their energy into providing those services for clients. So if you're yeah. just respectful and polite, and then if you have spare money, give it to the organizations yeah. or the people campaigning. Also, but there's something about thinking like perhaps in the future, again, in like ideal society, there will be, you know, like clients will be writing guides about how yeah so absolutely you should be treating sex workers you know again a lot of the time it depends on the character you know so that's where you know so they sort of give instructions to their clients but they're very character based as well so that's another sort of hurdle um, um, but yeah sort of uh, and, and the thing is is that I know what you're saying in the question about how they uh, how they would rather you know I, I suppose uh, work in any other industry um, so you know, my easy response, you know, sort of typical response would be like, well, I would rather not be like in a work that I am, you know, be some, somewhere else. That's easy for me to say because there's not a shame, I suppose, and there's not that judgment, I suppose, behind behind my job, I suppose. But I guess that, that's the idea is that with hopefully in the future, that burden will be taken off. Like half of the hurt, well, I don't know. I'm, again, I'm just speculating here. and But from what I can understand, is like a lot of the hurdle of being a sex worker comes from actual just judgment the from stigma, your parents, yeah. from stigma, from your parents, from your you know, from your loved ones, and from society in general. So if we can, you know, reduce that, then I think, you know, and honestly, even just being open about the fact that we use sex work or yeah. like we watch porn and stuff yeah. like that, you know, like that's okay. Hopefully, that will sort of demystify the profession and and appropriate worker um, um, worker secure like worker protections will be mm. installed and, and just this is like a shout out to this person I follow on Instagram they're called Jack the Stripper and uh, they are a fantastic um, they're a stripper mostly but they're a sex work campaigner and they do these excellent comic book strips about all the questions that people ask sex workers that they don't ask people in other wow. customer services like it will have um, a cartoon of a sex worker talking to a woman in an office and being like, do you really hate your job? Do you need to be rescued? And it's blowing apart the way in which people view, because of stigma, sex work as this entirely different form of labor. And I'm not arguing that it isn't a different form of labor, but also every form of labor is different in its own way and has its own burdens and stigmas and shit parts and good parts. And so, yeah, I just think being conscientious of its placement in a broader scheme of trying to like make make work uh, like good and safe and not exploitative thing that's the best way you can view it in my opinion yeah yeah and i, I just i'm actually incredibly encouraged I, i've seen like so much incredible work around this in the past yes. couple of years towards unionization and uh, just some very open benefit parties as well for 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 different struggles um so sex workers are i think they sometimes host the nights at but green but no green working man's club as well the, like um, info nights or even cabarets that are okay. benefit gigs then for for different um, causes or like lawyer work and that sort of stuff in this in in, mm-hmm. in, in, in this profession. So, yeah, let's just demystify it and um, and and make sure that you know people 
the people that choose to for for this to be their profession feel safe and 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 the respected the same as any other profession. Yes, precisely. Yeah. Please follow, send us some follow-up questions and yeah. other stuff like I mean if there's if there's anything to do more to do with that. Yeah, and as we said we're going to post the links to the resources we've already looked yes. at um later on on the Twitter so that you can access them as well. Yeah, 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 but I'm really great. even the fact that TWT is hosting a panel on this. Yes. That's so cool. Like that's really cool and I think more more stuff like this. Um yeah, and I think we'll have we'll hopefully have a lot more sort of ethical ethical I guess clients of of of, mm -hmm. of, of this profession. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. It's yeah. Sex workers of the world unite. <laughs> mm -hmm.